Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a Cricut project for you guys and I am using Cricut Design Space and my Cricut Explorer. Uh, also, at the end of this video I will have uh, the process on how I put together on Cricut Design Space just in case you guys are interested. So this is what, will we, what we will be making today, I'm sorry. So this is what we will be making and these are some acrylic signs. I am making some for my friends. Okay, so I did grab the four inch disc from Amazon and you do get a lot for $9. I will link them down below. And like I said, they're four inches. I am using um, this Cricut um, Premium Vinyl and Shimmer. And this is like a gold glitter, it's so pretty. I have been using this for so long. I really love this vinyl. Also, I will be using this pink vinyl right here. I picked this up at Tuesday morning a while back just because the color is so pretty and it works so well in my Cricut, so I really like this one. Don't have the brand since I've had it for almost a year. So, and I'm almost running out, so I might have to um, hunt for it. I also, I'm also using this Strong Grip Transfer Tape. And this is by Cricut. You do need this for any shimmer or um, glitter project. Uh, of, if you're working with vinyl, I'm sorry. Uh, otherwise, it won't stick. Okay? So that's what I'm using. And then also, you will need some regular Cricut transfer tape or any transfer, transfer tape of your choice. Okay? That's just what I'm using. That's what I have. All my stuff put together here. So let's go ahead and uh, start making one. So first you want to remove the backing. The protect, the, I think it's called protect, protective film. Okay, so I'm going to take these off. Just kind of grab the edge there and try not to scratch it. Okay, so there's the first one. I'm going to take the other one off. And then just peel off. Okay. So what I'm going to do before I put any vinyl on this, I'm going to spray this with some alcohol. Okay. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to start by um, doing my background. And it's already cut, and it's that uh, sp paint splatter. Okay, so let me remove the um, the backing. Sorry if I'm off frame. Okay. Um, the setting on the Cricut for this um, vinyl, it was just on vinyl plus on the dial. Okay. And I have some tips in another video on on my Cricut. So if you guys are, haven't watched that, I will have it down below so you guys can go check it out. Okay. So I'm just going to weed these um, little pieces from there. Okay. There's another piece right here. So there it is. So for this vinyl, I'm going to use the regular transfer tape. Okay. And all you have to do is just peel. Okay. And place, cut uh, big enough so it will cover your, um, your vinyl piece there. And then just... Um, Set it on there. Okay. And then just grab your um, little tool here. Of course, I forgot the name of it. Scraper. Oh, sorry about that shaking, you guys. Okay. 
Let me do it on here just because my camera moves so much. Okay. So you want to do back and front. Okay. And then just remove the backing there. And you got to be really gentle. Okay. See how I need to do this on the on my mat here that will stick better okay so there's that and I'm going to stick this on the back of my um, round acrylic piece right here okay I'm just gonna eye it a little bit to see where I want it there's some other tricks you guys you can use um, uh, what's it called parchment paper and you can put it in between that way you don't um, you'll know uh, where you want it before you adhere to the to your um, project okay so that looks good to me so I'll add that on there and then I'll just take my scrape my scraper here and then okay and all you have to do is take it off And then you can reuse this as many times as you want. Um, I usually use it about three, four times, and then I throw it away. Okay, so there's our piece right there. Okay, so I'm going, so that's the back, and this will be the front. Okay, so now we're going to uh, uh, adhere our Instagram logo right here. It's already pre cut. And for this, I need the strong grip uh, transfer tape. Okay, so we're going to grab that, peel that off, and put it on our image. And then get a little tool. So this is a very, uh, a very good tool and very useful to have if you guys are working with vinyl. Let me try to get this off the off the table here because I don't want to do it on there because it shakes so much okay let me just take one of these and use that okay I need to find somewhere to put my camera so it doesn't shake so make sure you do that and then you turn it around and then you do the back side then all you do is peel it off okay so there you have your piece okay and it goes like this and then you're just gonna eye it or like I said grab a piece of parchment paper put it in between um, and then just leave one edge that way you can peel off um, remove the parchment paper okay so I'm just gonna eyeball this right now okay and to see where I'm going to set it and it also depends on the name you're using like if it's a long name or a short name okay hold on so I'm going to set right there okay and then take a little scraper tool okay And then just peel off okay so there's that part right there so now I'm gonna do um, the Instagram uh, label here okay and I forgot to read off the little a little piece right here okay so again I'm going to take my strong hold transfer tape the same one we used and just stick it on there so use your work table okay you guys I'm just doing this so my camera doesn't shake okay 
that a couple times, flip it, and do the back. Okay. So now you remove very carefully too. You don't want to go too fast just in case one of the letters didn't stick to your um, to your transfer tape. So then I'm going to put my Instagram logo, kind of eye it. Sorry, you have to do this close. So I'll be off camera there for a little bit just because I need to be really careful where I put it. Okay, so there it is. And now you scrape it again. These are so fun and easy to do, you guys. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so now let's do the name. Um, let me see what mine is. Okay, so let me weed one of my the one that has my name on there. Okay. Just want to make sure you be careful when you're doing this. That way you don't um, bring any pieces you don't want. Okay, so just peel very carefully. Okay. And the, the settings on uh, the vinyl for the shimmer that I'm using for Cricut, I am using um, shimmer, I mean shimmer, vinyl plus. Vinyl Plus, um, that's what I call it. It's the, it says vinyl and then there's a little dot in between. That's the setting I'm using, okay? So let me remove all those little pieces uh, from here. Okay, so now that I've removed all the uh, extra vinyl from there, let me see if this is big enough. Probably not. So let me cut a bigger piece of transfer tape just because my name is a little longer. Okay. Okay, so just remove, um, try to find the edge on here. Okay, there it is. So I'll stick that to there. And repeat previous steps. I want to make sure it's really stuck on there, okay? Okay. So now let's remove very carefully. Okay. And now we're going to place this on our uh, round acrylic piece right here. Hold on. Let me try to get in. Let's see if we can get this straight enough. Once you're happy, take your little tool. Okay. And then just remove. Okay. So there it is. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I love this. Love, love how they turned out. So I made that one, but we'll just made that one right now. And this and it made this one for my friend. Let's go ahead and do another one. Okay. So again, I will remove this. So there's that. 
I'm going to do this piece right here. Okay. So there it is. Let's spray with alcohol. Okay, so I'm going to reuse my Cricut transfer tape, just the normal one. Oh wait, I forgot to, I forgot a little piece right here. Make sure you look at your vinyl and make sure you're not missing any little pieces there that you need to remove. Make sure you remove all the little pieces, okay? Okay, so now we're going to flip okay, and use this side. Okay, so I couldn't do YouTube because I don't have the YouTube um, strips cut out and I didn't make those, I forgot. So let's just do an Instagram one. Okay. So I said I was going to do a YouTube one, but I just realized that I didn't cut out my YouTube um, um, strips. So. Let's do Instagram. So I just realized that I don't have my YouTubes cut out. So we're going to do an Instagram. Okay. So here we go. Same process. Get your strong grip um, transfer tape. Turn. Turn. We do it a couple of times. Okay. Make sure it's on there. So again, I'm going to eye this. Okay. Scrape it on there. Make sure. Do it a couple of times before you take off your transfer tape. Okay. Looks really good. So there it is. So now let's do a our Instagram. Where is it? Right here. Okay, again. 
let's get our transfer tape and I think this is good just for this time around and then I'm gonna need another piece a new piece of transfer tape okay like I said I like to use it around three to four times and that's about it because then it loses its grip okay Make sure it's on your transfer tape. Okay. And then I'm going to eye it. Okay. Give me a second here. I got to put it close to me again. That way I like where it's positioned at. Okay. Give it a couple of scrapes there. Scrape it. Scrape, scrape. And then remove your transfer tape. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Now let's do our name. And this is one of my other friends. I still have another friend that I need to do for it. I, I was just having um, let me do more transfer tape. Her name is a little longer. And I'm trying to get the right um, font for her name. Because if you do like very intricate fonts, it's not going to work. You have to have um, like a chunky font. I hope that makes sense. Like I said, it's a process video of how I designed this on Cricut Design Space will be at the end of this video. Okay. Oh, I kind of forgot it was a new piece. See how I told you guys to be careful. Let's do this again. You gotta make sure you do it really, um, like put a little elbow onto it, okay? So let's try it again. There it goes. that on our acrylic disc right here and I, like I said I'm just eyeing it you guys um, and then do that Oops. try not to scrape the top part okay so I'll remove it be careful and there it is how cute is this you guys I love this I love this so much okay so here's the other one my friends wanted pink so I had to do pink and then here's mine okay so that's it you guys I wanted to do the YouTube, but like I said, I didn't have my uh, YouTube um, letters cut out. So I'll show, I'll do another one and then I'll share on my Instagram. Okay. And also you don't have to stick with um, like the font being straight like that. Um, you could also curve it and make it go around your uh, disc like that. Okay. 
So lots of creative things you can do with this. Um, like I said, I will link all these products down below so you guys can um, check them out if you're interested. And don't forget to check out the process video on how I put together on Cricut Design Space just in case you guys are interested. So I will catch you in my next video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. What I did, um, how I put together the round acrylic uh, signs, okay? I am going to do different videos on what um, a couple of things mean and uh, be more specific on them, okay? So for now, I'm just going to, um, oops, I'm supposed to put customize. I'm sorry. Let me go back. back cancel customize you want customize when you're opening one of your projects okay so let me just close this down and let me show you okay so let's go to upload upload image because I already worked on these and I was already working on tutorial and I messed up so let me go back and we do this again let me upload image, go to your files. So these images I did uh, uh, find on Google. Just uh, Google any images you're looking for and they'll pop up. So this is where I found this. I really like the splatter on this one. So I chose that one. Make sure you uh, download images with high re resolution. Otherwise you'll have a really bad um, image especially if you're going to print and cut, but we're only doing cutting, so I'm okay. So continue. I want to remove this background right there. So just clicked on that. And I'm not going to do anything with this because I'm only going to do cut. And if I send, look, this is what's going to happen when I send it. I'm going to put apply and continue. So if I wanted to print and cut, it was, it, you know, um, it, it's, it's going to give you this uh, image right here in the middle of the splatter right there but since I only want to cut it it was perfect it only gave me that background image okay so I'm going to pick on cut image I'm going to upload it so there it is okay so the same for let's do YouTube upload browse I already had it downloaded from the internet so open I always like to use complex continue this get rid of this white background it's already on settings that I want it to be so do that I clicked on that and then I also want to remove that little triangle the background of this little triangle so there it is it's perfect I like it and then I click apply and continue and I don't want print and cut cut only so this is what uh, it gave me right here. So just grab it and then you upload it and it's going to upload to your images. I'm not going to do it again just because I have a couple in there already. Okay. So let's just uh, place some images in our mat. The ones that I've worked with. Uh, so let me do that one. We won't do YouTube since I didn't uh, cut out any of the um, YouTube um, fonts. Um, not fonts. Uh, the letters for my acrylic um, signs so let's just do the Instagram the splatter let's add to canvas okay now you're gonna want to um, resize these because they're really big let's see if I can get them separated okay let's just uh, scale them down okay and remember I told you that my round uh, acrylic um, uh, pieces, uh, they're four inches. So let's go to shapes and pick a, a round uh, circle. And we're going to uh, do this at four inches, make it bigger to four inches. Okay. Just to have like an idea of what size lo uh, our logos will be and our fonts. So let's do four. Okay. 
There it is. So here's my splatter right here. I'm going to size this down first. I want to make this a different color just so I can have an idea. So I'm going to make that pink. I'm going to see how it's in the background. Let's put this in front. So we go up here and it says arrange, bring to the front, and this will bring your image to the front. So I'm going to size this a little bigger. Okay. Just, you know, just to have an idea of how big or small I want my vinyl, my piece of vinyl to cut out my image there. Okay. So I like that. So I'll leave on there and then I'm going to take my Instagram logo, resize it. Okay. Oh, I don't know what's doing. Okay. So I'm going to arrange that image, bring to the front and then I'll put on there like that. Okay. So I kind of like that size. So now we're going to do our font. So what I want to do is just keep this together for now. So I'm going to highlight and group it just so I don't, uh, so my pieces don't move around. Okay. And there'll be one whole piece like that. So I'll move that to the side. Now we're going to grab our font go to text and I'm going to move this over here. Okay. And we're going to use a cursive text for this. So I'm going to show you uh, what to do. So we'll cut out as one whole piece. Okay. Come on. And we're going to change this to at. Well, let's do Instagram. Okay. So we have Instagram there. So now let's go and change our font. And our fonts are going to be right here. And I'm going to use system fonts. I'm not going to use Cricut fonts. So I'm going to go to system, use the ones on my systems, uh, on my system, I'm sorry. And I already have some highlighted. Oops, I don't know what I did there. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to fonts, system fonts. And I already have some in my bookmarks. If you guys want to save uh, a couple of your uh, favorite fonts, you can just click on the little sides right here and it'll save to your bookmarks. That way you're not going back and looking for your font and all that stuff. So I already have some saved on my bookmarks and I bought these fonts a long time ago and we're going to put them to use. So I'm using Serenity and there it changed right there. So let me make this a little bigger. I'm not going to move the eye and put it closer. I kind of like it where it, where it is just in case you have something like this and then you do want to you say you did want you do want to um move one of the letters closer to your font to your other letters all you have to do is highlight right click and you ungroup them if you ungroup them see all these little letters up here that just popped up on the right side of your screen right here they're going to be individual so they're all going to have that little box. Okay. But we don't want that when you're going to send it to cut. Okay. That's only if you want to move one of the letters closer to, uh, to your other letters. Okay. But I like it where it is. So I'm just going to not do that and leave it alone. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to group them again. Oh, they're already grouped. Okay. Cause I, I, went back here and did the redo. Okay. But all you have to do is highlight group or ungroup. Okay. To do that. But let me show you something right here on my font right here. You can see cut lines. So what you want to do is go down here. First you highlight, go down here and click weld. Okay. And let me show you those the cut lines are not there anymore. Okay. There it is. You see that there's no more cut lines in between your, your letters. So now you don't see those cut lines, which I'm happy that way now that, uh, it's welded, you don't see those cut lines. 
okay so that's good because if you if you're doing individual letters and when you go to weed it's just gonna look weird and it's not gonna look pretty um and you know how this is cursive it's just gonna look weird so and the eye i left like that just because i want it to look like that okay so make sure you weld uh your fonts here your uh whenever you're working with your fonts so okay so i'm happy with that uh, all i do is size it to whatever i think will fit right there see i like that so i left it like that and then you go ahead and do your your other text for your names um and it should already be on the last font you used so um let me move this and let me do at and then my crafty carousel okay so again we're gonna do the same thing i am going to highlight and i am going to um weld okay so now that it's welded i can just size it and uh kind of i mean you can do it a different you know just go up here and change the color just so you can see and you resize it and all that stuff and once you're happy you know just um move to the side and then do all your pieces um i like to do three of each i uh, copy and paste three of them just in case one doesn't work you know you have the other one so i'm going to ungroup this right here So I'm going to uh, do black for all of these. If you want it in one whole mat, uh, don't do colors because if you do, let me show you. If you go to make it, all your you're gonna have different mats because your image and your other colors, and you don't want that. So you go back, and then you just want to um, that as black as well. Make sure that one's on black and then we're going to do this as black too and we're going to get rid of the circle because we don't need it okay so once you send to make and it should be in one mat okay so there it is and then you can multiply you know just go back and copy paste as many as you want and that way they'll be just make sure you put them if you're going to like the I did the splatter pink. Just make sure you put that pink vinyl in the corner and then the rest in glitter. Um, maybe down here, put your cut your vinyl to size and that way it'll cut in the same just below your pink um, vinyl right there. OK, you guys, I hope I made sense with this. I will do other videos on uh, welding, attaching, flatten, contour, all that stuff. I'll make a couple more videos that will make more sense. 